All right, it's June 11, 2024, and this video is all about, as you can see on my screen, how they're, well, you can't see it yet, but it's about Bloom CBD gummies and how there are scams surrounding this product. Very strange stuff, but it's not that strange when you're someone like me who's looked at different CBD gummy scams for a long time. Claims here in this sponsored ad on Facebook, Pastor Andy Stanley recalls Father Dr. Charles Stanley's unusual last I don't know, words, requests, whatever. It goes to subin.cfd right there, right? Let's close out of this. And it goes to this page here, subin.cfd, which is not Fox News. This is pretending to be Fox News. And so this is the, the, the ad was the first step. This is the second step. And the third step, they want you to go find Bloom CBD gummies and I guess make a purchase. And this is all very scammy to me, to say the very least, because this is not Fox News. It's pretending to be Fox News. Dr. Charles Stanley has nothing to do with this. And, you know, nor do any other celebrities. No celebrities have ever endorsed Bloom's CBD gummies. No famous people of any kind. Really quick, before I continue, please hit the like button down below. Hitting like can help my video show up at the top of Google search results, which can land above, you know, all the other scammy results. And so when you scroll past all this, it talks about how it was his product right there. His product, Bloom's CBD gummies, which is not true. And it says that he was on family talk the next day. Apparently he died last year, but it, how it can instantly and permanently reverse dementia is the claim right there, which is snake oil claim. It's not real. That's not something that can actually happen in reality, unfortunately. And it claims as well that, you know, it can take away great pain, chronic pain. It'll cure your pain, do all these amazing things. Snake oil is what comes to mind. Like the old West guys going around the cart. I have all the answers. Buy this. And the next day he's gone. Everyone wants to get their money back to like, you know, fight him or whatever. And the guy's gone. So that's what the, this looks to be. These claims here. See if I can find more information about the product in my process of looking at this. It says here, this is where you order. And it has this as the photo of Bloom CBD gummies. You see right here. And it says pure organic hemp extract. Okay. So it's got fake comments down here as well. Now, subin.cfd, which is what I want to look up right here in this lookup tool, says it was registered in April. Registrant is mailing address is Michigan, I guess, is what that's indicating. I don't know if that's for name silo or the registrant, but no information. And that's typical for domains these days is privacy. So I searched for Bloom CBD gummies without the word nature's because there's apparently another product called nature's bloom or something. And I don't know anything about that. And so here's what we find. The Covington Maple Valley Reporter is doing something here. Is this even a legitimate website? Let's go to the main page. And there's some news here, but there's also lots of different ads here. I don't think this is even, if it's a legitimate reporting website, fine, but it doesn't seem to be, you know, when you click on weather, oh, Covington, Washington is what it's claiming. To, okay. Either way, they're either legitimate and they're accepting money for a sponsored post here, which is what this is, or it's a fake website, but it appears to be a real website that's accepting money from scammers to run scams. And, you know, so far, I've not been able to find the actual website where you can get Bloom CBD gummies. The links in this sponsored article goes to Life Boost CBD gummies, which if anyone needs information on how to contact whoever this is, let me see if I can find a phone number here, anywhere in here. Says to call the customer service department. Okay, what's the phone number? Didn't mention it. And you can see right here, this is so typical. If you're not completely satisfied with your purchase of Life Boost CBD gummies, which is apparently different than Bloom CBD gummies, of course, please call or email us at, and there's a space period right there, space period. And that's not unusual. Care at buylifeboost.com is mentioned there. Anyway, it's not helpful to Bloom CBD gummies. Let's go back to Google search results. So I saw the Covington Maple Valley Reporter. There are different forum posts. Basically what scammers try to do is they try to populate the top of Google search results with any links they can that might lead to purchases of products that they might receive money or commission or whatever for. And so I'm assuming some of these have been taken down. Like this one on oldminibikes.com has nothing to do with mini bikes. Let's see. Yep. Oops, we ran into some problems because they took it down. Meta community forums. They probably took this down message not found. And that's not a surprise. Bloom CBD Gummies Facebook page, eight followers. It's not a real Facebook page. Someone created this. It doesn't even have the same bottle design. They created this to have good placement in Google search results, not to actually help people with a legitimate Facebook page. 
close out of that. And MSN.com, something about reviews. It's not real, though. BloomCBDGummies.us, official website. Anytime they say official website, it's probably not going to be the official website. You notice they don't have the bottle here that we saw earlier. Eventbrite, they do that because you can create an event. I'm assuming this has been removed. Yep, can't be found. Uh, what else can we find here? Comic Vine, Ticket Leap, Eventbrite. See, they're just trying to create different posts online about this. Uh oh, they got something on Nebraska.edu. Yeah, it's going to redirect to a scam page. See that? And so looks like I have to alert Nebraska.edu about BioHeal CBD gummies. Not a surprise. So the University of Nebraska Medical Center, rather, not, not Nebraska University, has been compromised, which is not a surprise. They have a probably a public upload thing that allows it. Great. And then Google Groups, Meta Community Forums, Wedding Wire. I bet that's been taken down. Um, I, yeah, I think it has been taken down. I think I can't tell. And lots of other places here as well. Bloom CBD gummies reviews. So there's nothing here that points to a legitimate product website for Bloom CBD gummies, which makes me think the product itself is an outright scam. Now, if the official website for a legitimate company called Bloom CBD Gummies actually exists, then I stand corrected. But I can't find it here, and that does not bode well for everything else I'm looking into. So here, I noticed this on Amazon. They're selling it, claims Bloom Hemp, Bloom Hemp Gummies. Is it the same exact logo and bottle? No, Bloom CBD Gummies. And then someone changed the word CBD to hemp over here. Okay, interesting. 3,000 milligram, 50 milligram per gummy. And over here, it's 10 milligram per gummy, 300 milligrams. Okay. Sold by Beachside Commerce and Company. Interesting. And then I, I searched for, if you if you look here, it says this is sold by the brand Exevich or Zevich or however you say that. And they have a page here on Amazon and they have a lot of products here. And these look like the kind of products I would not order because I typically don't buy things that look like they might not have any effect or do anything. Denticore, the same, the thing that some ads claim can regrow your teeth and gums, that sort of thing. And I looked up Exevich earlier, Zevich, and I found, yeah, trademark of Beachside Commerce and Company. There it's mentioned again, Beachside Commerce and Company. On Justia Trademarks, here's the same thing. They claim to sell handbags. This just stinks to high heaven of, of different, you know, you know, whatever's going on here. Reminds me of the, the term that the guys in office space look up in the dictionary. If you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. And I, I looked here as well. I found something about Pakistan, but I don't think it's coming from Pakistan. Beachside Commerce and Company. And then I noticed this, how there was an article here originally on Zen Cortex. Can I get rid of this thing on the side? What, what is about the source thing? There we go. Zen Cortex review on healthstrom.com. It's shipping from Beachside Commerce and Company, not even a real address, when in fact it should be shipping from Aurora, Colorado. I don't know why. A lot of these weird products come from Aurora, but you can't find a lot of information about the facility, the people, the place. It's like it's all secret. And why is it all secret? And there are scams involved. It just doesn't create a good mixture of a, a feeling in my brain about what's going on with all this stuff. And that, you know, if, the, if someone's proud of a product, you would be in the news. You would be, you know, talking about it all you can in a public manner, creating websites, whatever. But you don't see that with a lot of these things. So I went to that that link on HealthStrom and it's gone. And I thought that's weird. So I went to Bing because Google no longer has cached pages and Bing had a cached page for this. And so it was for Zen Cortex. But if you search for Beachside, here's the part that was in that snippet. Here's the scoop. The fake bottles claim they're coming from Beachside Commerce and Company, which is not even a real address. So basically, it's possible that scammers themselves are saying avoid the other scammers or whatever's going on here. Whatever this is, Bloom CBD gummies is not going to do something that's going to reverse dementia. It's not, you know, endorsed by some famous people. It's not something that I don't think it's just not don't get involved in this. Right. And you might be saying, well, what are some good CBD gummies, Jordan, that I can I, I really don't know. There are so many scams out there and there's not going to be a miracle product 
like you're hoping. I wish there was. The best thing you can do is to go make a doctor's appointment, speak to a medical professional. And if you're one of those people who's like, I don't trust big pharma. Okay, well, talk to three different doctors, get three opinions. Just make sure you take care of yourself. Don't buy into the stuff out there that, you know, no one likes big pharma. They charge way too much for everything and they're they're evil, terrible, whatever, et cetera. But don't get so sucked into that world where you don't even go see a doctor and then something happens to you and, and you know, that's it. You're gone. You know, of course, you don't want something like that, like that to happen. You want to go for medical checkups, doctors, specialists, whatever. And if you find a doctor you don't like, go find another doctor and make sure that you continue to find credible doctors who can look into your medical situation. Do not fall for these scams. The scammers who run these scams are ruthless, terrible, evil, greedy people. And they have somehow designed a world in their brains where they kind of know what they're doing is wrong, but they are justifying it. And, you know, even if they're in a country where they're desperate, I think they're in the US, but even if they're in some other country where they're desperate and they just need to make money and this is not the way they can do other things. This is not the only thing they can do. This specific, you know, it, that doesn't make any sense. So I hope that you got something out of this video. It went on a little bit long, but hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.